Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests on the line. Yes, indeed. We have Tamika Tiny Harris on the line as Anique. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? We are blessed, black, and highly favored. How are y'all? Pretty good. Y'all did a great (laughs) job in Georgia. Y'all really did a great job in Georgia. Yes. Do you see how we turned from red to blue? That's how we see it. (laughs) That was amazing because we've been red for as long as I know. Mm -hmm. Were y'all nervous? Huh? Were you nervous like as we were waiting for the results to come in? I kind of felt like we was, you know, I didn't think we was going to turn blue, but I kind of felt like, you know, we were going to win anyway with Biden. I kind of felt like we was going to turn blue, but I was nervous about my mail-in ballot because I definitely mailed in. Same here. Well, it's, it's a Harris in the White House now, so y'all should feel good about that. There you go. Now, Zanique, how are you feeling right now? I've been watching all your updates on your pregnancy. Have you been having, like, morning sickness and things like that? I'm feeling pretty good. I've never had morning sickness my whole pregnancy, so it's been going really great. I'm really at the end, though, so I be tired all the time. What did you want? Were you fiending for anything? Like, I know I always say my wife wanted strawberries and ice cream. She had to have that. Was anything that you just had to have? Um, I didn't really crave much, but if anything, definitely milkshakes every day. I got to have a milkshake. (laughs) Okay. Well, let's talk about the show that you have now, The Mix. And Tiny, you're producing that, right? Yes, yes. Um, The Mix is a a show that I created about um, millennials and ginseng. Mm-hmm. And um, I felt like, you know, we needed to give them a platform, you know, for a while it was always like, what are they doing? Like, they're just crazy. They're all over the place, you know, and and then, you know, um, I just felt like let's hear, you know, we need to be able to hear and talk to them, see what, you know, what's on their mind. What are they thinking? And so that's how I kind of came up with it. Just being around Zanique, Regine and all her friends. And I thought like, they need a platform to be able to speak their mind. So that's mm-hmm. how I came up with the show. I wonder why, why you think our generation, Tiny, can see the crazy in their generation, but can't see the crazy that we grew up on? You know, I don't know. I guess because we're older now and we mm-hmm. get to see like, hey, what are y'all doing? But when mm-hmm. we were that age, we were the crazy ones. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah so that's the truth. I was y'all are definitely worse. With social media, because you guys grew up, Zanique, like really that is, something that shows us so much about what's going on. Like when we were growing up, we were experiencing things, but we weren't able to put it out there, like how they could put it out there now too. Yeah, well, I didn't hear the beginning part. I'm sorry, I was talking. Zanik, she said back in the old days, there was no social media. So back in the old days, whatever we did was private, but now yours is everywhere on front page. That's what she said. Oh, oh yeah, this, this is true. Honestly, like in the beginning, I guess, of my life, it wasn't so much like that. I really miss it not being, you know, social media not being as big as it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not, y'all know I'm grown. Yeah, please. <laughs> y'all know I'm grown. <laughs> I had a little not social media days, too. <laughs> now, are y'all ready to be grandparents, Tiny? Yeah, uh, yeah, we're getting there. You know, getting ourselves together, <laughs> coming up with my name and everything. You know, it's got to be special because I, you know, grandma ain't gonna work. Grandma, ain't gonna work. <laughs> grandma ain't gonna work. You don't know grandma, and, and she don't want the baby to call me mommy. So you know, I had to come up. Mama's I gotta come up with something else. Big mama, you big mama. Big mama, big mama's cute. <laughs> oh, you like that? Y'all should hear the names she really come up with. Please tell them some of the names. What's some of the names? Well, my last name was Gambino. They didn't really like Gambino, but I liked it. Um, Zaza. Zaza. Uh, and Honey. I think those are my, like, three names going that I'm, you know, judging. OG was one. OG, OG was one. That was my OG. first one. That was my very first one, OG. Oh, y'all like that. See, I'm mad at OG for grandma. OG, I ain't mad at OG. I'm mad at that OG. I'm mad at OG. They said OG. I, I, I didn't like that one. <laughs> she shut it down immediately, so I just went on. So, now, how did you guys decide who else was going to be on the mix? Um, we did, we did like uh, what you call it, where we get like auditions. different. Yeah, we did auditions where we got uh, different people together. Some people were on the phone. Some people came in person. And we just switched them out, switched them out, did like four people, we did three people, we did 
five people. We did all girls. We did all guys. We did all of that. And then we just came up with this match because we kind of like the, you know, having the male. We we was thinking about having one male at first, but then we didn't want to leave him lonely. So <laughs> it was like, maybe we should get two males. And um, I think it worked out good because everybody, you know, there's different age ranges and everybody has different views you know it's not like they all agree on everything i hate that and so that was another thing that made us go with the people that we had because they were like kind of going back and forth it was never like oh yeah i agree with zanig i yeah you know sometimes they agree but a lot of times they don't mm -hmm. and that's what keeps the show you know flowing and going what, what separates y'all from let's say a red table talk johnny well him. For one, I feel like because, you know, there's really no show with the younger generation. So I feel like we get to speak generation and that's one thing. And I, I feel like our show is really fun. Like we don't really argue. We talk about serious stuff, but it never gets too serious. You know what I'm saying? But I enjoy talking about the fun topics. So it's always really fun. I mean, of course, and then they don't have like the older, the generation of that knowledge that they have on the red tabletop, but um, um, but they do have someone that has been in the game for a long time. Like Romeo, he's been in the game for a long time, so he speaks with a lot of knowledge. His background, he's you know, come to his father, he's learned a lot in the mm -hmm. business. So I feel like he's able to speak for them also for the generation and also mm -hmm. have a lot of knowledge of what's going on in the world, you know, cause he's been out there. Absolutely. How y'all feeling in Atlanta? Atlanta is wide open right now. I was just there a couple of weeks ago to do something and I was like, man, this feel a little crazy out here. So what? It, how are y'all moving around? And guess what? We really, our COVID um, um, results are not going up and no one's using masks here. Um, so what do y'all think about that? Because we are very open. There's no mask in sight. Matter of fact, when I come in there with a mask on, I feel so alienated because everybody's looking like, what is she doing? And so, no, because it's crowded, it's packed, and there's not one mask in there. But no one's really getting COVID here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen, if y'all ain't caught nothing yet, we good. Because y'all been out. <laughs> That's the scene, y'all. Y'all been out in the street. I mean, literally, because like Tip <laughs> said, we've had 14 negative COVID tests, and we test all the time. We might be in the club three, four, five days, come test, and nothing, you know? So we've been kind of blessed. Yeah. I had it early on and didn't know. Well, we did think we had it early on, like in January, because I had the coughs for about two months. I could not get over. I was just coughing and coughing so bad that I started, you know, I finally got some cough medicine from the doctor, but it didn't, it, it helped me a little bit, but I think that probably was COVID. Me and Tip was kind of going through that for a while. We had fevers, mm -hmm. but COVID wasn't, we didn't know about COVID at the mm -hmm. time. It was like in, right before it hit. Now, Zanik, let me ask you a question. Now, with, with the baby coming, what are some things you're going to adopt from your parents and what things you're not going to do? I know when when I first had my kid, I was like, I'm not going to be as protective as, as my parents. And then I was worse than them. You know, so what's things you, what's some things you're going to take? What's some things you're not going to do? Uh, you know, that's really a hard question. I, 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 cause I just really don't know. I feel like a fish out, out of water with this whole pregnancy, but I feel like I want to like not put her you know, so much in the light at first. Like, I kind of want her to choose. But at the same time, I know, like, when she come, I'm want to post her everywhere. Right. Like, I'm like, oh, I just love my baby. But it's like, I don't know. And let's see. Definitely, in some ways, look how my mama looking like. Girl, what you about to say? <laughs> <laughs> um, In some ways, I feel like, well, no, no. Because y'all really are not just super overprotective. I really feel like I'm going to take more from y'all than I'm going to try to do stuff differently. Like, I'm really close with my mom. Like, I call you for everything. I probably tell you too much, but it works out. I'll mm -hmm. probably do a lot of that. And when, once you, I hope to and share. When, and when the baby comes, you're going to understand why they were the were, were the way with you the way they were. Absolutely. You're going to understand that once you have your kid. Yeah, the stuff that, you know, y'all do that get on my nerves, I'm sure I understand. I can't wait to see how much, how many whoopings or popping, how, how much discipline she puts in the game. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's one thing, because you really, my mom, y'all did not really pop me and do stuff like that. I'm going to be giving popping. 
Oh, you the, the you the papa. Yeah, because like having brothers and sisters, I always was like, Ma, like, whoop them. So I do it. She's mean, like, for real, for she'd be like, whoop them, this, 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 that. They ain't really did much of nothing, but she <laughs> wanted everybody to get a whoop. Yeah, Ma, I forgot to tell okay. you. I popped airs the other day and she was so surprised. Like, she was just so That's surprised. My baby. What you, what you pop did. the baby for? What the baby do? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even want to say it, but she spit on my cousin, which is her cousin. What do you mean, spit like, it was okay. like that spit? No, I actually didn't see it, but my cousin said, she spit on you me. Didn't like, see it, you didn't see it. it. I didn't even see it, but it, I just felt like Aries, that's disrespectful. So I popped her and she was like, that really hurt. And she started crying. I was like, hey, I meant to hurt you. And she went and she mama, went back. Glad, now you better be glad I went there. Yeah, mama, you don't let her get away with that now, mama. Yeah, what? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Because they don't know whoopings. My brothers and sisters don't know whoopings. But look how good everybody They don't have whoopings. They don't have whoopings. King done had plenty of whoopings. King done have whoopings. He don't want. He done had plenty of whoopings. He just don't know what they really do, you know. <laughs> The money had some. <laughs> King, I mean, Deja had a few. Yes, but you wasn't as bad as everybody else. Well, King, King be trying you. He be trying y'all. King, yeah. you know, he's just persistent, and he's very, you know, he's he's a lot like his daddy. You know, what I'm <laughs> very persistent. He can't tell him no. Like he's gonna keep 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 antagonizing you until you try to change your mind. So he kind of gets a little, you know, in trouble a little bit more than most. Now True. it's interesting how you broke the news that you were having a baby. Cause I know, Tani, I know you really like her boyfriend. And so that's all well and good. But for Tip, how how did he take it? And does he really like him? Like, or was he kind of like, we saw that happen. But. Yeah, he was just surprised because for us, I need, you know, nobody really expected her to be the first one, even though she's the oldest to have babies. Cause she's really not <laughs> a person. Yeah, she don't really like kids. I mean, not to say she's not like, if you ask her to keep her, keep, keep your kids, she's going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> but then after 30 minutes or 45 minutes later, she's like, are you, are you on your way? You know, and I'm like, dang, I just, you just got her 45 minutes ago. Well, it's time for you to come get her. It's this and that. And I'm like, okay, she's not going to do no good. So she's not going to be having kids anytime soon. And then look what happened. Dang. But you <laughs> Like, you were nervous to tell your mom? You said what? Were you nervous to tell him more than you were nervous to tell your mom? Definitely. I told my mom as soon as I found out. Because I'm just like, you know, I call my mom for everything. But I kept telling her, like, do not tell Pops. Do not tell her. She kept saying, this, I'm, this is my husband. Like, I have to tell him at some point. I'm like, girl, you don't have to tell him everything. Like, she was just, <laughs> how, tell him. how long until you told him? <laughs> Man, uh, it's... It, how long did it take? Yeah, it took me like at least three months. Three Damn. months? Damn! So Tiny, yeah, you were showing for three months, Tony? <laughs> I just told her. I mean, I kept pushing her. So finally, she was like, look, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it on the show. And she, when she told me that, I stopped pushing her because I was like, that's the way she wanted to do it. I'll let her do it like that. But um, I kept like getting on her nerves because, you know, little things kept coming out and people were saying, yeah, you're going to be a... Uh, you know, we were just playing a game. I think we was doing karaoke and somebody said something about him being a granddaddy. And he was like, no time soon. I was like, how do you know? I wanted to tell him so many, so bad, so many times. So I kept begging her to do it. So when she found out that she wanted to do it like that, I just let her alone. And he probably ain't even tripped like you thought he was going to trip, Zandi. You know, I mean, he wasn't all ecstatic or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can see it. Every he he was just, it he was just very surprised. Like, oh no, y'all not talking about Nick Nick like as if it was a joke. Dang. He had to come around. Even after even after y'all hung up with him on the show, like then I was there to deal with him. So. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> called him. You you it wasn't face to face. You called him. It was on the mix show. Yeah, we did it on the mix. So it was, first as, it was the first episode of the mix. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. first episode of the mix. They had brought him on, and they told him that he was going to be a grandfather. Damn, damn, <laughs> that's rough. I saw, I saw you post on Instagram, Zanik. You said rich daddies do not take care of their kids financially for your whole entire life. They show you how to get it on your own, so you can take care of yourself really early. In my family, at least, what what prompted that post? 
You know what? I post, I just be tweeting stuff, but I posted that because I just feel like every time something happens, people in the comments are like, oh, you know, her dad did that, her dad bought that. And it's just like, I'm 24 at this point, so I'm not going to ask my parents for money, like, to do stuff for me. Like, they don't throw my parties and my baby showers and stuff. So I just don't be understanding why people think that. Mm -hmm. Like, ever since I was 16, when they gave me that car, it was over with after that. Oh, my tire. (laughs) Oh, my tire flat. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. They're not helping me. Mm -hmm. They've been not helping me. Please. But that's how every. That's what every all my brothers and sisters like. I mean, they got seven kids, so I kind of understand. <laughs> yeah, King's going through that same thing right now. He's just turned sixteen, got his own car. He's paying for tires and all kinds of stuff now. <laughs> that is none of that. We see all the baby shower gifts in the background. How is the baby? A reward without responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> How is the baby shower? I see all the gifts. Baby shower was so nice. I'm not opening any gifts, as y'all can see. I haven't opened one thing. It's so many. It's so much stuff back there. But it was so nice. I really enjoyed my baby shower, and yeah, I, it was it was fun. It was yes. I want you to open my gift today. I don't know which one is your gift, baby. I can see them. They got flowers in the bag. <laughs> yes, what? flower bags back there. Oh, okay, I'm gonna open it after this. Zanik, now that you're a host. Who are some of your dream guests? Mm, I keep saying I really want um, to have Kiki Palmer on the show. Mm-hmm. I just feel like she's such a great person for like the new generation. She always speaks her mind. Um, if we can get everybody always aimed high, so I'm going to say like Drake. I love Drake. I would love to have him on there. Um, your daddy might have messed that up. Your daddy might have messed that up. I going to happen now. <laughs> oh, oh, something happened Pop, with him and Drake. Pops might have messed that up. Oh, oh, I know oh, what y'all right. talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for daddy to yeah. pop out in two seconds. Go ahead, pop out, daddy. <laughs> I forgot. Y'all right about yes, that. Yes, but he didn't hear that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my dream guest for you guys would be NBA Youngboy. Mm-hmm. I think he would be a good guest. Oh, yeah. You know, he's y'all generation. People love him. People do love NBA Young Boy. NBA Young Boy is wild, baby. He probably come over there. And what about you know Megan the Stallion? Okay, yeah, Megan. Been going, yep. But she's not going. You you want to get in her business? She's not going to tell us what I happened. Don't get in her business? I don't want to get in nobody's business. I just want y'all <laughs> to talk to her about the things she got going on, great things. You know what's coming up, what's next. You know, we don't. We don't want to get in nobody business. Not really. Not for the breakfast club. Not really. <laughs> you know they know how to get in the business the right way. Mm-hmm. I got a question for y'all. You know, since y'all are ATL representatives, uh, who y'all got in the upcoming versus battle? Ti or Jeezy? Oh, that's a good question. Now that is. A t- oh, really? Really? I'm just, I'm just home. asking. Got, with the home team, you know. <laughs> I got. I got Jeezy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we gonna use that clip. We gonna use that clip. Put it all I'm on the set. When you say Zanik, you say you got snowman. You, you got Jeezy. We using that clip. I'm kidding. Don't get too loud for he walked back over here, y'all. No, I did not have Jeezy. You know I'm going with the home team. Oh, period. All right. Well, have we, have y'all God. thought about doing one tiny with Escape? I seen Escape pop up a couple times. Um, yeah, we talked about doing one. Um, I think they. Came up with SWV, I think it is. That'd be dope. Mm. Yeah. So, so that's gonna happen. Love, that's gonna be it. Love to do it with SWV. So it's supposed to be a SWV escape of escape versus. That was the last thing we talked about. Yeah, and we did talk to the girls too, and they were they were down. They were with. It. Oh, okay. All right. That'd be. I'm, yeah. I'm here for that one. Escape yeah, versus SWV. Um, Jodeci. Who would you like to see battle Jodeci? Who would I like? I would like to see battle Jodeci. Mm-hmm. I'd be boy to men. What do you think, huh? I said, okay. what it, I said boys to men, but I don't well, really. I was going to say boys to men. Boys to men's around that era, but like, you know, their music is totally different. Totally different, yep. Time, uh, it ain't, boys, I was going to say boys to men too, but. I think Drew Hill. Drew Hill would be good, but I don't think Drew Hill can last with Jodeci. Jodeci, I don't think so either. Yeah, me neither. The only problem with Jodeci, Jodeci don't got a lot of up tempos. They don't have a lot. That's why boys and men, they don't really have a lot of up-tempo. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. 
But Jodeci way freakier, I feel like. They are way freakier. Mm -hmm. That's like, so it's like in love or you want to, you know, so six me down type, you know. Yeah. Zanik, how about you with the music now? How are you inspired, you know, with the, you have a child on the way? Like, what's the inspiration for you when it comes to music now? You know what? I feel like I always get inspired so much by like stuff that I go through in love. Like that'd be my most inspiration. Now, like with the whole pregnancy, I haven't like got inspired to like write any pregnancy music. I feel like when she comes, then that would be where my biggest inspiration comes from. Like I feel like the the whole when you have a child, it just changes everything. So that's what I'm waiting on. Okay, I'm waiting on it too. <laughs> Girl, don't say it like that. For you to get back in your little groove, you know. You gonna be yeah. a good mother though, having experience having your little brothers and sisters and everything. I think that was great experience and practice for you. You know, I appreciate that. I really hope that that's the case because you know, I <laughs> if she would have watched them a little bit, then maybe. But yeah, that's a well, that's I'm another watching. thing. Like, I yeah, love. I do, man. Yeah, I don't I never watched him for real. But I love them. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, All right. So we can catch the mix on Fox Soul, right? That's right. Yes, mm -hmm. Fox Soul TV. Every Tuesday at um 10 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Pacific. All right, Zanique. All right, Tiny. Thank you guys for joining yeah, us. We, we wishing right, you a healthy pregnancy too, Zanique. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely.